Alright guys, so today uh, I'm going to talk about something a little bit different than I've talked about the past few videos and that is going to be budget bolt action rifles. So uh, I like to deer hunt. Uh, I basically like to hunt anything that moves that I can eat um, with the exception of some nuisance species that I like to just get rid of. Uh, but yeah, I like to uh, I like to kill and eat stuff and that's just pretty cool I think. So uh, budget bolt action rifles. So I love bolt action guns, I love lever guns, I love pretty much all guns. So uh, what I have here today is the Savage Axis SR and it is in FDE and this is a synthetic stock. So uh, what this is, is a sub $500 gun. So you can get these for around $450, $480 uh, depending on availability and who has them in stock because these uh, are a little bit harder to find than just the normal regular Savage Axis, uh, especially you can find the black ones everywhere, but an FDE, the camo, they're a little bit harder to find. And then this one is a little bit different than others. Um, so this one actually has an 18 and a half inch carbon steel heavy barrel, uh, and it is a threaded barrel. So you see here, I have a, uh, a muzzle break on this one. Not really that I need it. Uh, I just thought the little thread protector was kind of lame. And uh, these are meant to be suppressed. Uh, if you wanted to run it suppressed, I'm not gonna deal with that. I literally just hunt deer with this rifle. I don't really do too much else with it uh, other than maybe shoot a few rounds here and there, but uh, usually I just this is just what I use for hunting uh, white-tailed deer. So I just went ahead and threw that on there just for looks. Looks pretty cool, I think that's, uh, that's pretty cool. And I'm not gonna say clear because you're you're watching a video. Um, so you can you can look at the barrel, go ahead. Just just the tip, look at it. All right, anyway, uh, so uh, pretty, pretty sweet gun. So this thing is a four plus one capacity, so it holds four in the mag. And then obviously the plus one comes from you chambering around, which uh, if you're walking back in the woods, I like to always have around chambered because uh, I can't tell you the amount of times I've walked up on deer because obviously you're supposed to take your time and, uh, you know, stealthily get to your stand, your blind, or however you hunt. Uh, so anyway, yeah. I've killed many deer just walking around the turn and boom, they're just there. And uh, I rocked them and they didn't know what to do. So uh, <laughs> that is that. Action's pretty smooth on this. Could it be smoother? Yeah, but you could also pay eight, nine thousand, twelve hundred dollars for a bolt action rifle. Uh, this is a five hundred dollar rifle. So it's pretty smooth. This has a. Uh, Two position tang safety. So what that means is instead of just like a little push button nonsense, it's a, like a nice little flat safety right there that's uh, easily used. So as you have your natural grip, it's pretty natural for your thumb to just rest right here in that location anyway. So pretty convenient. <clears throat> uh, this thing's super easy to take down. Just pull that, you push this little bolt release here and then the whole bolt assembly will pop out and clean everything up, call it a day. I'm running a Vortex Crossfire 2 optic on here. Um, this isn't anything special. It's about a uh, $200 optic most places. Uh, sometimes you can find deals, get them as low as 160, 180, I don't know, anywhere around there. Um, it does come drilled and tapped with this uh, Pictini rail already. So it was super easy for me to just get some mounts, throw this Vortex uh, scope on there and call it a day. And then a couple of accessories. Obviously, you need to have a sling. And then uh, I like to have a cartridge little holder here on the buttstock. I don't know why. It just reminds me of, like, the nostalgic days. My dad and grandpa did it on their, their wooden stock rifles and had them there. And uh, do I really need to have anything more than the 4 plus 1 when I'm hunting whitetail or anything like that? And probably not. Uh, I carry a box of ammo in my... Uh, my backpack when I go hunting, but uh, do I really need this? Absolutely not, but I just think it looks cool. Uh, what I run is the Hornaday Superformance 150 grain, and this is the uh, SST round, so I don't know if you guys can see that. They are the Super Shock Tip. Um, all I know is they shoot pretty well, and they put a big freaking hole in, uh, in what I hit, and uh, that's all I can ask for. I've never... Uh, Never lost an animal that I've hit with one of these rounds. Uh, leaves a ton of blood, and uh, 
the exit wound is pretty gnarly. So uh, it's pretty awesome. I went with 308 because 308s are awesome to me. I've shot many uh, 7 mag, 270, 30-06, 30-30s. Uh, 308 is one of my favorite rounds. Uh, it just shoots really good. Shoot smooth, super flat, and uh, I like it, and that's just uh, how I feel about it. Uh, nothing, nothing will probably ever replace a 30-30 lever gun in my heart, but as far as, I don't know, everyday use, 30-30 uh, is a great brush gun. Uh, as far as me reaching out and touching something and just having a little bit more stopping power, I do like the 308. But a 30-30, again, is awesome. So, uh... Yeah, if you guys were looking for a nice little budget bolt action rifle, this is it. I think it's pretty cool. Oh, something I didn't go over. So this has a, uh, it comes factory with a, it's called an Accu trigger. So this is user adjustable and this adjusts from 2.5 to 6 pounds of trigger pull. Um, I think the standard setting is right around the 4-ish pound mark. Um, I like it and it does have a little, uh, you know, take up and then as soon as that that's your little that's your warning there and then boom so uh i think it's right around three and a half four pound it's it's pretty it's a pretty nice trigger uh, honestly for a factory sub 500 hundred dollar gun uh you definitely could do a lot worse of a trigger and uh this it's pretty sweet um not really too much else to say about it it is made in the usa right there in uh, old massachusetts at the uh, savage arms factory um just a good, good little budget gun, and uh, if you guys were just looking into it, Savage out of the box makes some pretty accurate, pretty cool stuff. So uh, check them out, give it a try. If you're in the North Carolina area, Eastern North Carolina area, until June, hit me up if you want to shoot it. I'll let you shoot it. Cool. We'll meet at the range. And we'll have, uh, we'll have fun with it. All right. So uh, there you go, guys. Hope this helps you out. If you wanted to make an informed decision on a good budget bolt action rifle. Here she is. They do sell stock kits for this. You can totally build this out to be a freaking badass rifle. Um, I'm not gonna invest that much money into it. If I was gonna do that, I would just go ahead and buy something a little bit higher tier. But uh, for every day, knocking shit down, she'll do just fine. So uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, let me know what you think, and uh, have a good one, guys.